Hi beautiful people, how are you all doing today? My name is Mark and I love making things sweet and in style. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And this is where I do anything and everything creative. So for today, I'll be sharing with you a very easy flower. In fact, this is actually requested by one of my subscribers from South Africa, which is Vaishna. So if you're watching this, this is your requested flower. And if you have any flower requests that you want to learn, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and comment down below, and I'll be happy to share it with you. So here is what it looks like, the semi-open teeny flower. See that? It's very pretty. And then I'll also share with you how to make this flower bud, and of course, how to make the leaves of the teeny flower, okay? And then you can bunch them up together. It's perfect for your floral arrangements or simply your gorgeous cake. So what are you waiting for? Let's start! Okay, so right now we'll be making a peony flower bud and a semi-open peony flower. Okay, so for that we'll be using a styrofoam as our base but you can also use pure gum paste or let's say cold porcelain or clay if you're using that. But the difference is it's gonna be really really heavy. Okay, so for now we'll be using styrofoam balls. Okay, so the size is for the semi uh, for the peony flower bud we'll be using... For the semi-open teeny flower bud, we'll be using 1.5 inches of styro ball and then I use a barbecue stick and a hot glue to stick it right on place, okay? And then for the teeny bud, we'll be using 1 inch and then again, this is, um, what do you call that? Barbecue skewers and then I use hot glue to stick it in, okay? Okay, so as you see here, I have a paste that's color pink. So basically, this is color white gum paste I colored with very little red. And then it became this color, very blush. So for the cutter, we are using cutter number 2. So this is 2.5 centimeter in diameter. So how do you know the size of the cutter that you'll be using? Let's say, for example, this is the base of your flower. You need to put a cutter right here. Okay, and then it should be at least at the same size. Okay, so you need to cut... 18 to 25 pieces of this one and later on I'll show you how to treat each and every petal, okay? Okay, so this is how you treat each and every petal. So as you see here, um, this is our petal. I'll be using the same cutter to actually create trimmings or chippings from the petal. So you actually need to create at least three or two pieces, okay? So here I made three and then I'll show you how to thin out the petal. So the very basic form or method is to use a foam pad, okay, dab cornstarch and then dab cornstarch on the paste so it won't stick. So what you need to do now using your bigger ball tool, okay, you need to, okay, my tables are squeaking. <laughs> okay, so you need to thin out the, the edges, okay, and you'll see it will be this wide so from 2.5 inch uh 2.5 centimeter it's now 4.5 okay so the measurement is 4.5 centimeter so what you need to do now i'll get my veiner i'm using a rose veiner okay so just press and then once you have something like so you have to dab cornstarch okay and then once it is on your foam pad what you need to do now Using your ball tool, the smaller one, just pull, okay? See that? So when you're pulling, half of the ball is outside, half is inside, okay? So pull lightly so that you create a slight cup shape like that. And then you need to get a spoon, okay? And put this on the spoon, okay? Just like so. But since we are using, um, for this one, I use 25 petals, so... The five pieces, you no longer need to put it on the spoon. What you need to do with the five pieces, after you cup, just like so, you need to get your edible glue. Okay, and then put glue almost all over the, the petal. And then you need to get your base. Okay, and then we will attach just like so. Okay, and then pinch. So it should be like so you see that hello focus okay basically it's like that and then you need to cover a lot of other petals so you need to do this on the five pieces okay 
And then the the other pieces of the petal, what you need to do. So let's say, for example, another technique of thinning out the petal is using a blue flap, okay? If you don't have a blue flap, you can use two pieces of acetate placed together. Okay, so the good thing about this, if you're using an acetate or let's say a blue flap, your petals won't dry out while you are thinning it. So you can use a ball tool. Just press on the sides, okay, see that? Or, okay, see that lining shine? Okay, you can also use your rolling pin okay to thin out the edges just like so okay and then after that you just take it out okay and then you treat it the same way okay we put it on our veiner and then we vein so this time I'll show you how to treat the 20 pieces of the petals okay so for the 20 pieces right after you vein and you thin it out you get your ball tool okay and then create pulls slight pulls like that and then you need to put this on a spoon and let this dry okay so for the 10 pieces it should dry on a spoon you see oops you see that it should be like that and then later on we will assemble okay Okay, so right now we'll start gluing each and every petal at our base. Okay, so this is our base. So basically first, um, these are the five pieces of the petals that we did not put on the spoon. Okay, so we need to stick that out faster. Okay, so dab or um, edible glue on your hands. So for the recipe of the edible glue, it's going to be on the description box below. I suggest you check it out. Okay, so you have to put glue all over the first three petals okay so I have here one I'll be putting another one okay and then you have to pinch it once you place it on top okay see that so it's like slightly covering and then you need to get the other one you need to do the same so just pinch see that I'm pinching it in a manner wherein it looks natural okay just like that so if you're if you are making a teeny bud this is okay and then you just have to cover this with color green okay but since we're making a, a semi-open peony flower so you have to do it differently so for the other three petals okay or other two you have to put glue on a v-shape okay just like so and then you need to go in at least at the same level you see that same level pinching it a little bit okay you can also make this a little bit higher okay just like so a little higher but not too much okay and then you see that it has to be a little closed okay and then here I'll put the other one Okay, just like so you see that see the leveling so the inner is a little bit lower and it's slightly getting higher okay and then you can actually just play with it so it's a little bit more closed okay and then after that I'll show you how to add the other petals which is the ones that we dried on the spoon okay Okay, so right here we have the other petals that we dried on the spoon. So you need to get one first. Okay, and then do the same procedure. Add edible glue on a V shape, okay? Have to put that on a V shape. And then we will attach. So just like on attaching petals on the roses, you ended here. So the center of your petal should be right so, okay? It should be at least at the same level. Okay, see that? Just close okay and then we continue adding and adding
Okay, so right now you'll see that we are already done adding our petals. See that? So if you observe, the center is actually much more, what do you call this? It's much more deeper and then the outer petals are actually a bit higher. After this layer, you need to start spreading it out going lower, okay? Just like how you do with roses. You see that? It's very pretty. Okay, so right now, while our, of course, that's the chicken saying hi to all of you guys again. Okay, so while our semi-open pinny flower is drying up, we'll, I will teach you how to actually make the, the pinny flower bud, okay? What's up with a lot of dust? Okay, so basically, uh, you use the same color. So this is one inches. So we'll be taking about one centimeter size ball, okay? You need to make at least six pieces of that. Okay, just around the same size. We're not using any specific cutter here because I wanted to show you how you could create petals without using any cutters because I know some of you are a bit challenged to find cutters, okay? So you can actually make flowers without cutters. So basically what you do using your bigger ball tool or if you don't have a bigger ball tool, just using your hands, you need to flat this on your foam pad, okay? So the shapes will be irregular, which is how we wanted it to be because these are petals of peonies. So peony flower petals are not super perfect, okay? If you look at the real flower, there's a lot of like waves and fringes, okay? So we want to achieve and copy that somehow. Okay, so yeah, just flatting it up. So once you flat everything else, you need to thin this out more. So what I'll be doing is using your ball tool, dab cornstarch so it won't stick. You need to thin out. And of course, my table is squeaking. There's some loose gears on it. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so it should be like that. So the size, this is already three centimeter, okay? So it has to be like this all. And then after that, you will vein it. Okay. So you have to apply the same procedure on how we did with the first um, semi-open peony flower. But the difference is this one, you will cup the petal. Okay. And then after that, you'll put edible glue. Okay, all over and basically the goal is just to cover the entire ball smoothly as much as possible okay just like that okay and then we'll do the other
Okay, so right now, I'll show you how to make the calyx on each and every uh, pini. Um, the process of making the calyx here will actually be the same on how you make the calyx on the semi-open pini flower, okay? So first, you need a small circle, just like so. It's around one centimeter, okay? So what you need to do, same process, you plait, okay, with your fingers, and then dab cornstarch, and then we start thinning this out. Okay, just like so. Okay, and then after that, using a barbecue skewer, we just need to create lines, okay? We'll put this here so I could see it more, okay. Just create straight lines. Okay, just like that, and then you have to do that on all the three. Need lots of lines. Okay, and then for the leaves, so what you need to do, uh, same size of the ball. Basically, you need three pieces of this one for the leaf, okay? And then you roll it on your palm until it's like this shape, okay? Like a rice grain, and then I will, okay, I'll take a closer look so you can see more. I will press down just the sides, okay? I avoided the center, you see that it's thick because we need to insert wire for the leaves, okay? So once you have something like this, okay, we will thin out and elongate with our ball tool. just like that and then I'll get my wire number 24 then I'll insert okay and then you need to make a lock at one end just like so and then using your leaf veiner put it on the edge and then press okay and then after that just lay it flat to dry okay so for this one so what you need to do flip it over okay and then, you can use a sponge. This is where you cup it. Okay, just like that. You can use a sponge, or if you don't have a sponge, you can simply use your palm. It works the same way, okay? See that? So here, I'm gonna do it again on the sponge. Just like so. And then after that, what you need to do, dab corn, um, edible glue on your hands. And then we put edible glue here. Okay, and then we get our peony flower bud. You put it underneath. Okay, and then you fold, 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 fold. As if it's hugging the flower bud. You see that? Should be like so. Okay, so you need to do this on all the calyx. Okay, you see that? I'm starting on the very bottom. Then press, 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 press. Just like that. Okay. And here, normally, for peony flowers, you have three pieces of calyx underneath, okay? And then later on, I'll show you how to add details and colors so that it would be easier. See that? It's very pretty. Okay, so if you want to make your peony flower bud realistic, what you have to do is to simply get three pieces of around half a centimeter Okay, size ball. And then you dab cornstarch so it won't be sticky. So you have to elongate it in your hands. Okay, like rice grain. Okay, see that? And then after that, I will flat this. Okay, flat, flat, flat. And then you need to expand it a little bit. Okay, you see that? We're making it a little bit more 
thinner and pointed. Okay, and then using your your barbecue skewers, you need to create veinings on this one, okay? So just create lines. Normally, three or four pieces of lines, okay? Just like that. And then you get your edible glue. Just put a little. Okay, very little, not too much. Okay, and then you have to flip your flower bud upside down and then we will stick Okay, just like that Okay, see that? That's how it should look like Can actually pinch and twist it a little bit to make it more realistic okay and then if you want to make it more real what you can do uh get a little bit of the paste <coughs> okay pardon for that i don't have covid okay i just cough um just put it right there okay and then you start twisting it's important that you have cornstarch with you so it's not gonna be that sticky Okay. And then you just roll, roll, and twist. Roll, roll, and twist. Gently pushing, going up. Okay, make sure that it's cohesive. You use the same color and you have to make the ends meet. Okay, otherwise it's not gonna look nice. Okay, so it should be very cohesive and consistent. Okay, just like that. You see that? So now we have to thin this out more because it look, looks nicer if it's thinner. Okay, and then later on, once this is fully dry, we will add accents and details, okay? So for the bigger flower, the semi-open bud, you just do the same, okay? So I'm going to show you because it's not yet fully dry. You see that? So to cover the styro ball, you need to do the same, okay? Same procedure, you cover it with three pieces of green and then three pieces of the pointed green ones, which is the calyx, okay? And then you can cover this with paste also. Then later on, we will assemble and dust. Okay, so right now, I'll show you how to assemble the leaves of the peony flower, okay? So we have the three pieces here. So what you need to do, we need to have floral tape, okay? Expand to activate the stickiness. So you need to get the longer leaf first, okay? So this is the longer one. So this is what we'll use, okay? So I'll wrap this first with floral tape on this. Maybe you're wondering why is it in the middle? Because after that, I'll push going up, okay? And then after that, you need to already add the other one, okay? At least at the same level, a little bit lower, you see that? And then I'll wrap this, okay? And then I need to add the other one, okay, slightly lower, just like so, and then wrap it with floral tape, okay, and then gently wrap the entire wire, okay, and then after that, using your tweezers or your pliers or your long nose, that's the time that you spread it out to open a little bit, spread open, okay, so this is how it should look like, the peony flower leaf, and then later we'll add some color, but... The first thing that we'll be adding color onto is actually our bud. You see that? Okay, so what I have here is gel colors, okay? So the brand that I'm using is Piotraco, but you can use any other brands. I just love this product because even if it dries out like this one, once you added some gin or vodka, it's going to be reactivated. And just like watercolor, you can use it right away. So what I have here is gin or vodka, okay? So... We'll first add the yellow detail, so using my other finer brush here, I'm just gonna get some yellows. See that? It's activated again. Okay, so what you would want to do is gently add some, you know, just randomly some strikes of colors. 
Because if you look at the real flower, that's how it looks like. See that? Don't worry if it's a little bit shiny because once it dries, it's going to be very, very matte. Okay? It's important that you do this once the flowers are already dry. Okay, see that? And then for the leaves also, I'll do the same. I'll just add some, some parts, okay? With yellow. But for this one, you won't be able to see it that much because it's actually color green. And what we're adding is yellow. So those two colors complement and bind so well. Okay, so after that, what you need to do now is to actually add the details, okay? The details that we need, we'll be using a finer brush also, but what I did with the end, I made it bustered, okay? So you see that it's a little bit unruly. So get water or gin or vodka, okay? This is gin. So I'll be mixing it, getting some reds, and then I'll get some little blue. Okay, so you have to mix the two together, you see that? So what you would want as a color is a little bit dark, like purplish color, like that. You can add some more reds, okay? So that's the color that we want. So this is our bud. What I will do, since this is flustered, you see that the end, I'll just create some stripes. Can you see that? You see the difference? You see the strikes? Because if you use a very fine brush like this, when you're, wherein the end is so fine, you won't get those strikes, okay? So what we want is to achieve those strike patterns. So you make, you need to bombard the end of your brush, okay? See that? Are you seeing the details? Okay, see that? It's very wonderful. Just keep on adding those details there. Okay, and then you want to do it with the calyx also. Okay. So my rule when applying details such as this, you have to go very minimal. Okay, see that? Don't go overboard with adding those red details. Okay, because if you look at the real flower, it's just like the strike patterns. Okay. Okay. Because the plants are actually releasing pigments. Okay, just to add some colorations there. And then once you are done with those strikes, you see that it's very pretty. We will slightly go in with the center. Okay, so just some parts has some red details on it. But not all, okay? See, that's very pretty. Just gonna add some strikes there. Okay, so there you have it. We are done with our bud. You see that? It's very pretty. It looks so real. Okay. So now we'll, adding, we'll be adding some details on our semi-open flower. Okay. So basically you do the same thing. Okay. So you can start at the bottom just like that. So you have to add these details, not on all petals, okay? Just on some petals. You can also go inner.
Okay, so there you have it. We are done with our semi-open peony flower. You see that? The details are so good. Okay, and then this is our peony flower bud. See that? So, and then there's a stem. Okay, and then we also have our leaf. So you can just bunch them up together. You see our leaves? So it's a little bit shiny and glossy because we use gel color. But once this is dry, it's going to be really, really matte. Okay? So basically, you attach this here, just like that. And then, yeah, you have it. There you have it. Very pretty. Thank you. Bye.